Hello, YouTubers. Morning. Uh, there's some changes to my um, solar project. Um, as you can see, I uh, moved over uh, the 1200 grid tie from over here and put it here. So now I have all three 1200 watt power jack grid tie on this side. Um, over here, I went away from 12 volt. I had a Samlik. I went away from 12 volt. Now I'm doing 20. Four volts. I've been running this uh, pure sound wave for the past two months. It's 3000 watts continuous with a 6000 watt peak. And I've been running it now for the past two months, run my entire house on it. When I say my entire house, <laughs> I mean my entire house. Washing machine and um, dishwasher, microwave. TV fridge excluding the um, the AC and the dryer and um, it's working out pretty well it's from made in China I paid um, $450 for it came with a remote control as well but I don't use it have a digital display over here and you could also hardwire it if you want and it's two months I've been testing it, and it's working pretty great. Uh, the fan, they don't come on for nothing unless you, pretty, you, know, you have a high surge. I've tried my air compressor on it, everything, and everything seems to be working fine. But like I said, the house is on it right now. So I switched over at night, as usual, 8 o'clock in the evening, and run the house off uh, my batteries. And in the morning time, I switch back to um, AC line. And uh, that's my uh, Flexmax 80. <laughs> I went up to 24 volts. I have 1400 watts of solar panel on my Flexmax 80. <coughs> <clears throat> right over here, I'm using a uh, Coleman charge controller for a dump load. So um, whenever my batteries go to float on the Flexmax 80, the uh, Coleman will pick up the load and dump it over here to do grid tie. So, um, but here it is. And it's set to come on at uh, my float voltage, which is at... Um, Twenty-seven point two. That's what the cables go into this. I'm running zero gauge wires. That's for the remote control for this pure sine wave inverter. Here it is. That's the remote control for it, which I don't use. And um, as for my battery cables in the box, um, everything is switched over to a um, zero gauge wire. I'm running on, on the, the batteries. I have 12 golf cart deep cycle battery. And it's pretty great so far, two months and in, 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 um, I'm playing with this. And um, it's working, working out quite fine. I can't complain. Um. It's running pretty smooth, no problem whatsoever. So that's my highlight for the day, is my uh, power inverter, pure sound wave, <coughs> 24 volts. And as for the power jack 1200, they are holding on strong. Um, they are about maybe one now. Going on to my, uh, I think it's my third year with the um, 
Power Jack Grid Diet 1200. No complaint, no problem whatsoever. <clears throat> you know, they are working quite fine. They are Chinese made, and I have no problem. I've seen on YouTube a lot of people claim that they have problem or they don't work. They work right away and they die right away and they shut off. But like I say, it's going on to three years with these, and um, I have no problem with these. Flex Max is going strong. No complaint whatsoever. And of course, my uh, Victron battery monitor. Going on strong. Right here, I have the uh, the Samlik inverter, the twelve volt. I took that out. I showed it to my brother because he's now getting into solar system in his home. So I took it out. So I'm going to change the panel right here. For the time being, my temperature arm controller here is disabled. I don't use it anymore because I couldn't now use the um the auxiliary out on the um the charge controller for the venting fan for the box. Um, but apart from that, I can't complain. 24 volts is the way to go. Uh, inverter work, work, you know, much less. Does not get warm from nothing at all. <coughs> um, I saw my protocol here in the, um, in the, um, my son room. It's, it's getting there. Not 100%, but it's getting there. You know, uh, do the work myself when I get home from work. As for these solar panel over here, those are the um, hopper freights. They're still sitting there. I'm going to use them over in the back down there for the other lighting. And right now, at present, I have 2,600 watts of solar panel on the roof, for energy. Um, I'm going to, um, in my favorite from eBay right now, I have, um, sorry, not 2,600 watts, 2,400 watts of solar panel on the roof. I'm going to order a set of 600 watt for energy from eBay to bring me up to the total of 3,000 watts of solar panel, or 3 kilowatts of solar panel on the roof. And I think I'll stop there. I don't think I'm gonna go any higher than um, than the um, three thousand watts. <clears throat> the um, as for the attic, the fan in the attic that blows the central the central air or heat in, I also have it in this as well. So um, like now in the winter time, um, I could run the. Um, the, the um, heater fan in the attic in the winter time. Same thing in the summertime if I want. I could also run the other fan from the attic in the summertime. Meanwhile, the 220 two volt is on the, uh, the AC compressor outside. But um, I can't complain. You know, it's, it's, it's done. I have nothing else here to do. I've done again. Yeah, I have to. Finish putting my grounds for this and um, put on the grounds for this. Here's the grounds wire. You know, I'm going to jack it on from here to here. So, but everything is working out great, YouTube. <laughs> my um, charge controller is working out great. My three power jack 1200, highly recommend them. Working out great. <clears throat> Sorry. And like I say, two months I've been testing this one. And uh, it's working out great. Can't complain. Um, like I say, everything on the house is now on this. And I will run it whatever I want to run at night. And in the daytime, I'll switch it over back to um, AC line. So the batteries will recharge. Maybe at some point down the road, though, I am going to add a couple more batteries to my uh, battery bank here. Because right now I have 12. I might probably um, add, I don't know, um, four or six more. Who knows? Or maybe 12. 
we'll see. You know, but um, I'm having fun with this. And um, I can't complain. I'm enjoying the solar project. I just came back from New York uh, two weeks ago. And over in New Jersey, I mean, all the street lights basically are converted over now to LED with solar panel on top of them. And a lot of the homes right now are all strapped with solar panel. So um, solar panel is getting bigger and bigger. As you can see, all, all, all the price of gas is also going down, you know, because the demand on uh, the fuel is getting less and lesser. And uh, homeowners now, I just about everybody is is really looking into solar solar panel for their home. And um, as for the workmanship, yes, it's pretty pricey if you can't do the work yourself. But if you're pretty handy, you don't need anyone to install a solar panel for you. You know, you could do it yourself. It's pretty simple. I did everything myself. I just looking off YouTube and other people and build my system. You know, at one point I had a guy came by my house and he was talking twenty eight thousand dollars just to put solar panel on my home. I said, okay, no problem. I'll give you a call. And I went on YouTube, did my research, and I um, did my own thing. And uh, here it is today. And uh, yeah, I don't have to try to break the bank to buy um, Zantrax and and. Um, the more expensive grid tie inverters and so forth and so on. And um, pure sound we have power inverter, <laughs> you know. But um, this is what I choose. And I can't complain. I recommend them to anyone. You know, the power jacks are great. You know, um, I have no complaint. Like I said, going on to nearly three years with the power jack. And um, this is about two months and I can't complain. But for anyone who's trying to get into solar project, go 24 volts right away. Yeah, don't 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 go don't do 12 volts. <clears throat> go 24 volts right away. It's better. Okay, YouTube. Talk to you later.